Hello everyone, Josh vs. Beckett again, bringing you guys some more over at content, and today I want to talk about something that um, I wanted to talk about really a few days ago, but I just now got time to do so, and it's involving five-star five, uh, five star gear. And there is a particular gear um, that, in my opinion, is just completely useless, and we're going to go ahead and talk about why, why you really shouldn't try to run it when you're trying to do PvP, for example, because it's probably going to cost you more than help you in the long run. Now, if it is the only gear that you have at the time and it's the only thing you have available, that's perfectly fine. But it's definitely a piece of gear that you're going to want to replace as soon as possible. So let's go ahead and jump into our inventory. Alright. So let's first talk about some things that some of you may not know about gear. So if we go to just weapons, let's isolate the weapons, and let's go to some of these uh, different five-star uh, weapons that we have. For example, we have this one here, the World Vendor. If you'll notice that its main substat is healing ability percentage. No matter what World Vendor that you get, it's going to always have healing ability percentage, and it's always going to be the same percentage, um, and you can test it out if you don't believe me, across the board. So that's how gear works. The main substat per type of gear. Now, when I say type of gear, I mean the name. So if it's a five-star uh, world vendor and you pull another five-star world vendor, they're both going to have the same healing per, uh, ability percentage as their main substat. That's always going to be the same. The only thing that's going to be RNG based is going to be the three substats that you get underneath. Like for this one, for example, we got status effect. Success rate percentage, accuracy percentage, and healing ability percentage. Those could be different on another world vendor. But the healing ability percentage that's highlighted at the very top, the main substats, what I call it, will always be the same. And we can even prove that right here. So if we go here to Bow of the Fairy King, you'll notice that status effect success rate percentage is 6.25%. Now obviously I did raise the level cap, so it will be different, but... It should still be the same substat. Let's go here. As you can see, again, status, effect, success rate, 5.06%. And again, the other reason those two are a little bit different is because I did increase this one. Because some of you, if you have not known this by now, if you actually feed a dupe into a piece of gear, the main substat percentage or flat stat or whatever the number is, is going to increase. That's the only substat that actually increases when you feed dupes in and uh, basically limit break the gear. Um, another piece of gear, for example, if we go down here to the level 40 uh, dark uh, black corner bow, you'll notice that its main substat is crit rate percentage 2.83%. If we go to the next one, again, you'll see its crit rate percentage 2.83%. Because, again, the main substats will always be the same when all pieces of gear that share the same name. I guess that's probably easier than saying the same type. The same name. There we go. Same star level, same name. It'll all have the same main substat. Okay? So, if we, we've established that not by now, hopefully. Hopefully everybody understands. Hopefully I didn't confuse anyone. Alright. With all that said, there is one particular piece of five star gear that in my opinion is the most worthless piece of shit in this game. I do not know why it even exists. But... It is the Crystal Skull. Now, unfortunately, I didn't have anything else to use for my Gleck at the moment, and the substats were pretty okay. However, no matter how many dupes I feed into this, even if I take it up to 65, the main attack stat and the other three substats may be good. The problem is the one substat that actually benefits from feeding dupes is going to be literal shit. And that is because the Crystal Skull, unfortunately, instead, instead of getting damage dealt increase rate percentage, you get a flat attack stat. And that's unfortunate. Because even if you max this up to 60, level 65 plus 5 it, the attack stat is not going to be that great. You're going to definitely benefit more from dealt damage increase rate percentage or even accuracy percentage or any other stat like that, to be honest, or even... Um, a more support stat. Now, basically, this is a DPS piece of gear. Um, you know, those crystal skulls. But the problem is, it does a bad job because the main substat that actually increases is flat attack. And flat attack is utterly rubbish, as my uh, 
as my uh, friends across the pond would say. It's it's just trash. There's no point in it. Uh, flat attack stat in like any game, especially when you're talking about RPGs that you know rely on sub stats and main stats for pieces of gear. Flat attack is always just very underwhelming. Flat stats are always much smaller um, than percentages, and in this case, it's always going to be there on Crystal Skull. So, next on, if you're watching this, please change attack to dealt damage increase rate percentage, please, because this is terrible. It's a five-star piece of gear. There's only so many different types of five-star pieces of weapons right now, and you're telling me every time a player someone or every time a player crafts a crystal skull, you're getting this garbage main stat, this main sub stat that you're just going to be throwing away for the most part. Now, granted, again, if you have three good sub stats underneath of it, that's good. But the issue is you want to have the best possible setup you can for your team, especially if you're going through hard difficulties of PvP or hard mode and story, stuff like that. You want to squeeze the most out of your gear. And when you're getting a 5-star piece of gear that's always going to have a flat attack main stat, and it's the only stat that increases with dupes, all that, uh, all that work you, and resources you put into feeding the dupes into it are all for naught. Unfortunately... I'm in a situation where I don't have another weapon that I can use at the moment. I'll probably be swapping it out with this hammer very soon for the crit rate percentage, to be honest. Um, again, I got a flat tack on uh, one of my substats there that is actually gold tier, and that, that kind of sucks. But still probably a lot better than this because a crit rate percentage is a lot better than a tack flat, unfortunately. So... This gear at some point will just probably be floating around to uh, characters that I just don't have 5 star gear for until I inevitably probably just stop using it all together because it's just useless. So when you guys do a 5 star gear craft and it's a crystal skull, RIP, I feel bad for you because literally it's just dog shit. Um, it's, it's unfortunate because when you're wanting to level up these gears, that main flat stat is just not going to help you in the long run when other players are running other uh, other weapons for example like the march self indulgence uh hammer which gives you crit rate percentage and that percentage is going to keep going up and up and up and up um as you um you know raise level cap and when you plus five it's going to be a pretty significant uh crit rate tr percentage boost so if they're running a lot of crit rate percentage and they have a lot of crit rate damage they're going to be hitting you very hard while you're sitting there with your nice little teeny weeny flat attack stat that's not really benefiting you that much at all and and it's at plus five and max out and that's just the best you can squeeze out of it so you're gonna have to rely on very very amazing sub stat rolls um to go your favor when you craft the gear to even make the gear somewhat useful but unless you get that god luck on your three substats and they're just all like in gold or something, high percentages, um, it's going to be lacking. It's going to be very lacking in comparison to the other five-star gear. So, I mean, like as you can see, this one here, even status effect success rate percentage is very good. Now, obviously, this isn't very good gear for uh, Cicero, but it's again, it's one of those situations where it's all I got. So, I got to use what I got, but it's definitely not optimal. Um... But status effect success rate percentage is still very good. If you're um, using this on a unit that is basically got an S1 and an S2 that inflicts status effect um, on your enemies, like for example, like poison uh, or burn or anything like that, this is going to be a very good piece of gear because when you max that out, um, you're going to be able to get those um, status effects off quite often even if they're running some status effect resistance. So you're definitely going to want to run that, especially if we ever go into like a straight up hardcore stall meta at some point in the future with like a lot of killers or something. Um, if we're not already somewhat there with Sophia and Proxy and Cicero and your teams. But, um, and then we got accuracy percentage. Again, another good main stat because accuracy um, is going to be very good to help you against when people that are running block rate. So that's going to be pretty decent there as well. It's definitely going to serve a good purpose. And again, it's not flat. Um... Already have that one as well. We already talked about that one. I don't have any other. Well, I mean, the only other one I have is crit rate percentage, but we already kind of discussed that as well. But I mean, you guys can see the differences there in the the different main substats for the different pieces of five star weapons, and it works the same for armor 
and accessories and uh, I believe grimoires as well. But yeah, the main the main point here is though that Crystal Skull was probably the worst piece of five star gear that I've seen so far in the game because that ugly attack main flat. I believe there's also armor that has a uh, flat defense as well. It's also pretty dog shit. Yeah, right here. So Blessings of the Silver Fox is another piece of gear that also is dog shit because it's defense flat uh, rip as its main substat. So sadly, that piece of gear and this piece of gear are just bad because they're heavily outclassed by something like damage uh, taking damage reduction rate percentage. Much better than that flat defense 47. But again, you know, if it's all you have, that's what you got to use. But it, it's definitely gear that you're going to want to try and replace as soon as possible. Because, I mean, when you're talking about, uh, you know, when you only got four substats, for example, on non-elemental five-star gear, um, and the one that actually does get increased by limit breaking, and it's flat, it's not a good thing. So I just wanted to kind of make a video talking about that. Hopefully it helped some of you out. Maybe some of you were unaware of some of the other things I mentioned in the video as well. But if it did help you out and uh, you liked the video, then de definitely go ahead and drop a like. Comment below what you guys think. Uh, do you guys agree that these two pieces of gear are pretty bad? Uh, I'm not too sure if accessories share anything similar. I'd have to go through. I think all the accessories are actually... Oh, nope. Right here we go. Here's another one. Black Lotus. Flat pierce damage. So, definitely not as good as Pierce rate percentage, uh, I believe. Yeah. Uh, rip. But anyways, you guys get the idea. So, definitely look out for those pieces of gear um, that have flat main substats. They're probably going to be one, something that you're going to want to consider replacing as soon as you can. Because, you know, you don't want to waste that one substat that you can increase with limit breaking on flat stats so anyways i'm gonna get out of here we've rambled on long enough hope you guys all enjoy as always i'll catch you guys all in the next one until next time have an awesome day wherever you are don't forget to subscribe and join us in the discord in the description below and i'll catch you guys later peace